So here we are. Here's the um, Monroe LAX LAX or Series Zero model adding calculator. Because <laughs> we don't quite know what it is. Um, my uncle Dave gave this to me from, he used to have it, oh, here's the back, it's opened, but the back plate says property of United States Air Force. So we really don't know where this thing has been. And my friend Jeff Raymakers has learned how to use it before I did. And he's going to lead us through some arithmetic. All right, so we're going to start by entering in a number, 300. 25 there, so you have to press the 3, the 2, and the 5 keys there. And then I'm going to hit the plus button here. And actually, I've hit it too many times, so I have to hit the minus button once. And uh, we've entered in 325 in the bottom row there. And the 1 on the top is telling us that there has been one number added in so far. So that's pretty good. Uh, and now we're going to enter in a new number. And we're going to add to that 400. And 56 there. And we'll press the plus button once. We have our sum of 781. Yay. Now I can test it on the real calculator. What was what was the math you did, Jeff? 325. 325. Plus. Plus 456. Where the heck is plus? Here it is. 781. Well, that's good. With less satisfying noises. <laughs> with less satisfying noises. So that's addition. Uh, well, I'm going to add a third number so you oh, can see it wrap around number. to the thousands place. Let me zoom in here. So we added 222 and got to 1003. And this still shows how many terms we've had, right? This is three at this point. Three terms. And then we're going to clear the dials, which is you do with this little mechanical dial here. So forward, clear is the top. And backward, here's the bottom. Very nice. So you've got a satisfying poom poom. Uh oh. I guess it only works when. Gotta have a professional operating this thing. Professional operating. That's that's you, Jeff. <laughs> so now we're gonna just do some subtraction. All right, subtraction. We're gonna enter in the number that we got before, which was thousand and three. Um, we see it there with one operand, 1,003. And then we're going to subtract uh, one of the numbers we had before, 325. We're going to hit the minus button, subtraction, and we get 678. And now here it says zero operand because we've subtracted one? Yeah, we went from zero to one, we added the first number, and then back to zero, we subtracted. Great. 678. Now we're going to do some multiplication. So we are going to enter in our one of our multiplicands, 789, and we're going to eventually multiply this by 234. Eventually. In phases. Okay. But we have to multiply this one digit at a time. So we're going to start by multiplying mm. it by four. That's the the, the one one That's digit. Place. So we're going to basically plus, press this plus button four times or hold it down until it says four. I'm going to try to hold it down Got until it. it says four. There we go. Very nice. So now you've added that four times into the register. So we have 3,156. Mm-hmm. That's four times 789. And now I don't want to press it 230 more times. Right. That would be not very much fun. So I'm going to use this little dial at the bottom here to shift the top over to the tens place. And now I'm going to multiply it by 3 or 30. And 789 is still stored in there, depressed. Exactly. So if I hold this down until it says 3. You've added 3 to the next place over. And now I have multiplied 789 times 34 to get. And we can see that 34 right at the top there. 26,826. Now I will shift it over one more time to the hundredth place. And hold this down until I get a 2. And I've got my final answer of 184,626. And we can check it on the electronic calculator. What was it? 789. 789.
Two hundred and thirty-four. Two hundred and thirty-four is indeed one thousand eight hundred forty-six twenty-six. <laughs> 1,846, 26. Oh, I just got a number. I know. <laughs> but, but, here's the cool thing that you cannot easily do on your fancy electrical calculator. Oh, what is the thing I cannot easily do on my What if I made a mistake and I read off my multiple cam wrong? So it wasn't supposed to be 234, it was supposed to be 432. Oh no, how do I do it, Jeff? I have to redo the whole thing, right? Right? Wrong. Wrong. I can fix it. Because I can say, oh, I didn't mean to go to two. I meant to go to four. So I'm just going to hold it down a little longer until it goes to four. Right? Oh my gosh, I see what you're going to do. This and now is I'm going to go back to my ones place. And I'm going to subtract out two until this four goes back down to two. 432. And so now, I've, now I'm seeing the answer of 789 times 432. Which is right down there. Three four zero eight four eight. Seven hundred thirty nine times four hundred thirty two. Three one nine two four eight. Uh oh. Uh oh. Who's wrong? <laughs> Three four zero eight four eight. Seven hundred thirty nine. What was it? Four hundred thirty two times seven hundred eighty nine. Three eight zero eight four eight. Ah, so it's human three, error. Three four. No, this is three four. Oh wait, yeah, I can't read numbers. <laughs> it's all good. I typed it into the calculator wrong. Human error. Monroe one HP zero. I say. I think Jeff one Andrew zero. Well, that too. <laughs> that too. Okay. Thanks. Well, Jeff. that was fun. Publication is fun, but but division is where the real division. fun is. So I've cleared out the machine. You've cleared out the machine. And we're gonna type in our. Uh, our number that we're going to divide. Is that the top one or the bottom one? I don't remember what they're called. It's the bigger one. <laughs> the so, divisor, the dividend, the top one. So it's going to be 477,591. So I'm just going to add, add that in dividend. once. So I get the big number on the bottom there. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is, and I don't, I'm just entering in this number. I don't really want to count it. I'm going to, I'm going to first clear the keyboard, and then I'm also going to press this at the same time to clear out that, that one at the top. So okay, back. so you still have it stored. Yeah, but, and I, now it's... but I'm back to zeros at the top. Excellent. Now I'm going to enter in my divisor, which is 224. 224. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn, shift this over until my divisor lines up with the front of my dividend. So I just turn it over three places because... Because there's three digits. There's three digits difference. So my my, my two, my, my two hundred, will line up with my four and my four hundred thousand there. Oh, I see. So the two here, the first number that's depressed, you go all the way up, and it's lined up with the first number. Yep. Got it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the minus button um, until it stops. Okay. And you make, if you look carefully, you'll see that there's a lot of nines in the front of the, the bottom row there. So there are. There are some, not all of them, but, but many of them. Uh, and then some numbers after that. And what's, what it, what's done is it's basically subtracted that number until it's gone too far. And so what I'm supposed to do now in the normal operation is hit the plus button once um, to bring it back up. And now you can see the results of dividing just in that first digit there. Uh, so it went one too far, it subtracted one too many, and then you add the one back to get it to zero. Yeah, so again. now I've got the first digit of my answer, which is okay. two there. Okay. And it's, it's red because red represents kind of negative and you're subtracting, subtracting, and so that add, it's why right, it's red. Because this is the number of operations you did, and you did negative operations because you're subtracting. Yep. So now I'm going to shift it, went over to line it up again, so that, uh -huh. that my new divisor lines up with my same yep. to the end here. Uh, so you're on the second area here. Yep, I'm going to repeat that same mm -hmm. same step here to hold us down all stops. You can see those that row of nines again. Row of nines. So I'll hit plus one once to bring it back. And there's my second digit of my answer, which is a one. A one. Where'd the first digit go? 
Uh, it's still there. It's a two. Oh, oh, it's up here. Yeah. So the, okay, I was looking the, at the, the bottom. The bottom is my my um, remainder. Right. Oh, that's cool. So I'm subtracting. I'm di you know, dividing out my right one digit at a time, and I'm and then then using my remainder to do the rest of the work. Got so it. I'm gonna do this part here. This is the yep. get the tens digit. It took a little longer because it was a four this time. Mm-hmm. I'll bring it back. Well, it's actually a three. Now you have your third digit. Two, one, three. And then one more time to get the ones digit. So you're always lining up the bottom number, your remainder, with the thing to, multi to divide. Exactly. And now you have a remainder. I have a remainder. So now we've divided, uh, what was the original number? 477,591. 477,591. We divided it by 224. And we got... 2,132 with a remainder of 23, which you're silly little... Ah, I have there. to fix the decimal places. <laughs> Scientific I notation. I'm waiting. So 2,132. Yeah, this thing doesn't do remainders very well. <clears throat> so, obviously... Monroe 2, HP 0. Monroe 2, HP 0. And so there we have it, the four functions of the calculator. Four functions of the calculator. Thank you very much, Jeff. You're welcome.